at 530, a Strongsville woman suing after a sacred item stolen from her home. She hired a cleaning company, but the maid made off with her wedding ring. Tonight, the woman is talking only to Bob Jones, and Bob, she's claiming the company's refusing to pay her back for these stolen rings. Well, her case is spelled out in this lawsuit. She's been married for 27 years, but in an instant, a maid from Action Maids swiped her wedding rings. Now she's taking action against the company. I cried. I, I was very emotional. I thought, how could somebody do that? Why would you do th the wedding rings? Fran Marino showed us a picture that includes her wedding ring set, now gone for good. Oh my God, my wedding rings got stolen. I can't believe it. It was June of last year when a maid she hired from Action Maids snatched the precious rings along with a 25 year anniversary ring from her dresser. The thief, Crystal Fordyce, was fired and put into a diversion program. The rings were pawned. She pawned them for about $140. What did she get? In trouble, and she only got 140 bucks. Since the company is insured and bonded, she expected Action Maid's president to pay her back. The value of the stolen rings, about 3,600 bucks. He kept saying no, he doesn't have to do anything. Instead, she was told to file a claim with her insurance. I said, Why would I do that? It was your maid. He said, We didn't tell her to steal the rings. Fran's attorney, Adam Van Ho, is now suing the cleaning service. When an employee of your company steals from somebody, you should step up to the plate and do the right thing. The president of Action Maids tells me he's sorry about what happened, and a bonding company has accepted liability and plans to pay Fran back. But his insurance company is waiting for documents to show the value of the rings, something Van Ho told me was provided long ago. They have received everything that they need to settle this case. And that lawsuit, we are told, is going after more than $25,000 for the cost of the rings and attorney fees and emotional distress. It could be up to a jury to decide this case if it goes to trial in Cuyahoga County Common Police Court. Live tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.